And our first guest has a unique story. He's actually from Baltimore, and he is a producer. He's an artist, he's a fashion designer, and content creator. Dun, dun, dun. Aaron LeCrayton is in the building. How are you doing, Aaron? I'm wonderful. Oh, wanna... great to be here. You want to clap real quick or not? Good morning, Baltimore. Good afternoon. <laughs> How you doing, though? I'm wonderful. Yourself? I'm doing good. Your story, it's amazing, man. You actually started Baltimore's first skateboard shop at the age of eight. How did that begin? That's bananas. Just wanting things that you couldn't get in those times. In the yeah. early 80s, you couldn't find skateboards. You couldn't find the cool t-shirts and things. And um, my father figured out how to get some stuff in, uh, in Ocean City. Mm -hmm. And he had a wholesaler's license. And he hooked it up for the whole neighborhood. His name was Frank. So I, shout I, out to Frank. I, shout out to Frank. And yeah. I, I named it Frank and Skates. There so it was like my first kind of like wordplay, advertising, art, commercial kind of cool, cool idea. Yeah, and, and your brand, Milk Crate, you have worked with some pretty big names from Jay-Z to Eminem to Kanye West to Madonna. True. How did that start? All true. I've always been a little DJ. I mean, mm -hmm. I came up from skateboarding in Baltimore, went very quickly into DJing, had this basement space in Highland Town. Um, mm -hmm. which is the whole kind of idea of this exhibit that's coming up on, on Friday, October the 13th. It was, I was making t-shirts, mixtapes, making beats, um, and doing all these cool things at Highland Town in the basement. <clears throat> so I was uh, a DJ, I was out there in parties, warehouse parties, house parties, and uh, very active in the Baltimore club scene as a little kid. I worked at Howard Street when I was probably 13, 14 years old, when Baltimore club music was Poppin'. Just being yeah. born. So I was around the originators who were pressing up those records for the first time. And I was just always around all these cultures and I evolved into all that stuff, evolved into Milk Crate Athletics. All the artists loved my brand, Eminem and all. They knew I was a real music guy. That's why they wore the clothes. I connected Baltimore to a lot of those guys. And eventually it came around, oh, why don't you make music with us? Or why don't you do this? And when, when the club music popped off for me with Be More Gutter Music in 2000, five or so, it went global. So I kind of took Baltimore cu culture global and everyone went out at that point, Baltimore club music was hot and I was the guy doing it, doing it from Love the it. city, you know? Yeah, and you have an exhibit coming out, right? I do, yes, at the Creative Alliance in Highland Town, Friday, October the 13th. It's called Just a Kid from Highland Town. Yeah. And that's gonna be exciting. We're recreating that basement. So it's gonna be my first DJ setup, one turntable. The real vibes. Vinyl, vinyl, turntables, old speakers, the whole analog thing, uh, archives from 20 years of the brand, key collaborations, some of them I brought today. We also just launched Bodymore Skateboarding Company, which is kind of a local brand that's that's really for the for the kids in Baltimore. Yeah, so there's a lot I always going say on. this, you know, speaking of Baltimore, there's just so much talent and creativity in the city. I've been to so many places, but Baltimore has its own unique energy. So mm -hmm. your upbringing, how has Baltimore really influenced you as a creative? Oh man, I was a kid on the street, you know, as of eight years old. Either, you know, Baltimore's always had a great sense of style. I mean, yeah. I always, even the homeless people in Baltimore dress, dress great. <laughs> and, and, and uh, you know, you're always just picking these things up. And as a kid, you're on the street, you're skateboarding. And I mean, you're, you're, you're around, you know, you're seeing what the drug dealers are wearing. You're seeing what your, your friends are wearing at the, at the surplus store. And kind of all that fuses into your own personal style. And Baltimore's just always had great style. I mean, that, that, I always say even the neighborhood, Highland Town specifically, but I went all over. I was downtown. I was everywhere as a kid. Um, it all influenced what this brand has become. You know, it's the creative energy of Baltimore. And I, this exhibit's bringing it back home. 20 years of Milk Crate. Yeah. And also just saying that, you know, I couldn't have done any of these things if I didn't have that creative energy that, that I learned here as a kid. See? Yeah. Well, keep using your creativity, your art, and your expression. Yeah. Yeah, I you love got it. To. There's nothing else. It's yeah, it. right? Yeah. So where can viewers find more information? Uh, everything you? everything is on uh, www.milkcratenyc.com. On Instagram is Milk Crate NYC, Twitter Milk Crate NYC, you know, Aaron LaCrate. It's all on Facebook, you know. Let's connect, you know. Let's well, connect. I'm, I'm helping, you know, I like if, that. There's, if there's, if you have, the whole point of the exhibit is it's a family thing. Yeah. This is about, I was a little weird kid that people didn't know what to do with. I was a skate rad and I was a, wanted to be Shout a DJ. Shout out to the weird kids. Yeah, there was no <laughs> DJs then. Yeah. You know, imagine being a little DJ in 1985 in Baltimore City. There's a whole, not a whole lot of, hip hop didn't even really exist. Exactly. So this exhibit is a, it's a family function. Bring the family. If your kids, vibes, it's gonna be vibes. yeah. It's yep. bring the fam, bring the kids. If your if your if your kids wear Thrasher, yeah, or Vans, just bring them out. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bring them. I feel like me and you could talk all day. We could. We could. Yeah. <laughs>